Happy Wednesday, everyone. I am using a different laptop, so you're going to have to forgive me for a second here. I didn't mute the other one. There we go. Yeah, I've just had a little bit, just a touch of bad luck for this last week, although I had a really great time camping, spending some quality time with my mom, reading a ton of books. Um, I did get a little too much heat, and it's been that way ever since I was a little kid. Apparently, I used to pass out in the schoolyard <laughs> um, and get moved out of the way. So it got past me a little bit. The water so darn cold here still that I think I didn't realize how much heat I was actually getting. But I'm back. And I'm so happy to see each and every one of you. I have Dream on Wheels here. And... Dream on Wheels, thank you so much for sharing out this live stream. I absolutely appreciate you. We have Timbo Biggins here, Renee, Becky Allen, Amy, Angie Hay, Diane Phoenix, hello, the Morris family, Fox Van D, Tammy Cox, Karen Boardman, Sean S. Oh my goodness, all the cool kids are here today. Mo Bang for your bucks. We got Fordman, Kenneth Oaks. Hello, Fit for Expedition. So good to see you here. Bree's here with TGIF and She Devil Adventures is here. I didn't faint from the heat. I didn't. Um, but it I, I did overdo it just a little bit, but I am fine. Um, at first, I didn't want to tell anyone that I had a touch of heat exhaustion because I was a little bit embarrassed by it because I... I know to be more careful and I didn't want to hear people go, well, what are you going to do when you go to the desert? <laughs> so I have a few more systems that I will have in place for that. Hello, RV Ashes in April. Brenda's here. Floss is here. Ava's here. Oh, you guys are amazing. I'm sure I missed some. Tracy Ocean Fire. Travel Adventures with Eric B. I haven't seen you for a while, buddy. You just put out a video, though. I haven't had a chance to watch it yet. Oh, so many wonderful people. Richard Quick is here. From Hi from all of us innocent people, he says. Richard, Richard. Andy Cindy is here. So good to see you, Andy. Terry's Tenacious. It's good to have you back in here. Anyone that I missed, I'm so sorry. I'm going to bring a badge, and then we're going to introduce um, Life is a Joy. When we did that surprise guest um almost two weeks ago, yeah, two weeks ago, we had different technical issues and having two couples, it just made it really difficult. And we didn't get a chance to really give those couples each an opportunity to shine the way that they truly do. So I am so thankful that they have all agreed to come back. Um, but I'm gonna bring a badge. Hello, sports fans. I'm gonna tell you the news. Everybody says I'm crazy, I'm grumpy, but that's all right. The borders are going to open by July, so that means I'm down there. Just let you know, I'm down there. So if all you people are wondering, when am I going to see him next year? Hey, well, this year, really. Because you know the funny part about this, the way it works in Canada, is that we have 180 days to burn up. That's six months. They'll yeah. probably kick me out by then. They'll probably kick me out by then. But anyway, <laughs> That's here and there. So um, anyway, uh, where are we? Uh, yeah, we. I totally screwed that one up, that last video with uh, Life of Joy and the Ramblers. And, and these are really good friends of mine. So I thought that I, I asked them before we did, as you know, the video disappeared. And the reason it disappeared is because I, tell, I told Paula to pull the thing. And I know people don't like to pull it, but it's just something you have to do. When it's not up to the quality... You have to pull it. And I wasn't happy with it at all. And Paula was all right with it. And the Ramblers were sort of all right with it. And life is a joy. But I said, pull the thing. So we did. Now we got, we separate them. So next week will be the Ramblers. And believe me, you could spend three hours with these people. And it'll be, it's just unbelievable. Now we got the life is a joy tonight. Now, I want you to remember that when Life is a Joy comes up, mm -hmm. Jim lifted the roof on that bus himself. And he yep, did the roof the, raise because he's six feet very, tall. He was one of the very first guys to do it. And he does an awesome job. But I'm going to let them 
tell you that because and bring the questions out like where are they from and how the bus was built and where they built it and why did why did they go back and eat rattlesnakes in the summertime and stuff like that just ask all them kind of questions i i think i could probably figure yeah. out i've done one or two interviews <laughs> yeah yeah you, you, you've done it before all right so if uh jim and deb are ready do you want to give me a thumbs up and i can bring you up excellent hey, welcome Karen. welcome how are you, you Paula. we can hear you this time we can actually hear you isn't that <laughs> great <laughs> you were probably luckier last time not being able to hear me <laughs> Okay, uh, no. I'll try not to screw this up this time, okay? I'll try not to screw okay. it up. If I get in a lag or something, Paula, just hit the button and eject me, okay? I'm okay. Right with that. <laughs> okay? Okay? Hello, James. Okay. Hello, Deb. Hello. 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 We love you, Dad. And Dale. We do love the you. The borders are opening, baby. The borders <laughs> are opening. <laughs> and we've got the marshmallows. We're getting the marshmallows yeah, lined up right now. Yeah. I didn't realize Actually, the U.S. Yeah. didn't have ketchup chips. Yeah. Oh, no, yeah, but I got to take ketchup chips down now. Nomadic Ramblers called us and told us they got three packages of marshmallows from you. So <laughs> we're set. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Sorry. That's awesome. <laughs> Sorry. But so I'm all gonna, gonna just get back together off. again. So I said you have to have marshmallows. You have to have We're gonna get back together yeah. sometime. Probably in a couple yeah. weeks. Nice. Exactly. So I'm gonna just kick off with a whole lot of questions for you guys. Um, for anyone that isn't familiar with your channel, it's called Life is a Joy. And you guys have over 1.2 million views. I checked. That is really <laughs> cool. How long have you had the channel? Uh, four years. Yeah, four, four years. years. About four years. So what on earth possessed you to create a YouTube channel? Well, our kids have a YouTube channel that did very well. And uh, they're called the Dale Tribe. D-A-L-E. Uh -huh. I think they have, um, I don't know. 150,000 or something there. It's a family vlog, but they're not, they do once a week, I think now. But I didn't, yeah. think, wow. I didn't think, I didn't think I could do it. I wasn't too sure of myself, but I started practicing. And so um, we don't do them very often. We're not real professionals like the Ramblers. <laughs> and what, right. and what we originally started right. it for was really to document the build to document of the, bus, the build the conversion uh -huh. of the bus and mm -hmm. for other people because when we decided to raise the roof we started getting calls from other people mm -hmm. in and, fact chris came and i helped him raise his roof and yeah do everything on his bus but chris with saw transcend existence a oh, wes right? with that's wes or west when chris uh, is tiny home tours, tours and, right? stuff and all that yeah well Wes is who we saw online, the only person that we saw online that had raised a roof and done it in such a great, easy, professional way. So Jim mm -hmm. used his method. And then Wes recommended that he didn't have time to work with Chris. So he right. said, why don't you go to see Life is a Joy and he can help you raise your roof because he he did a great job on his. So. So we got right. to have both of those guys at our home and in they, our driveway for that's right. a while. And it was wonderful. They're both wonderful guys. So do you have a home base or are you always on the road? We're sitting in our home base. <laughs> sitting in our home base. We don't have a, we sold our house and our property. And our properties. Yeah. You sold the your property? They're nomads. They're nomads. Yeah. Well, I have yeah, watched an older know. video where you guys were doing, you had a greenhouse and aquaponics and are, you're not doing any of that now, I would imagine, since you're in the bus. Be a little difficult in the bus. Yeah. <laughs> we raised, we raised standard poodles. 
at the time when we decided we had about 40 dogs, including the puppies. We mm -hmm. had 75 <laughs> chickens. Yeah. Six goats. 75 laying hens, six milk goats. Uh-huh. And we butchered, we did our own um, meat chickens every we year just, and processed them ourselves and everything. I just killed 75 chickens. And when uh -huh. we had the aquaponics set up with the tilapia and the and the growing and 2, all that stuff. 2,500. And a garden. So mm -hmm. none of that. 2,500 tilapia. Yeah, we you also did. Raised, so you did back water. to Eden gardening? What does that mean? Yes. What does uh, that mean? Eden, well, it's uh, this little guy who's crippled, uh, had a difficult time working in his garden, doing all the hard work that you do in a garden. Mm -hmm. And he he felt like um, he's a, a, a believer in the Bible. And he just went out to the forest and he felt like God showed him a way to do it. And what it is, is you put like eight to 10 inches of chips, wood chips. Okay. On your whole garden. And then you dig down and put your little plants down against the dirt. And my goodness, it grew so well. It was unbelievable. We, knew, we only watered that. We were in a high desert area. And we only watered it two or three times that to get first it, to year. To get it started. Uh -huh. And we there was an electrical company that was cutting down limbs near us. So we just had them bring their wood chips out. And we put them on there. Dumped them on our property. But when we yeah. sold our property and got ready to move away, we thought, for curiosity's sake, we're going to go out and dig under there and see what the dirt looks like. And it was dark, black, beautiful rich soil. dirt soil now that it had turned and, into. And it so. was put on top of clay. All we had there really was just yeah. a hard clay. So, so yeah, yeah, I believe in that. And you can find it on YouTube. Back to the Ooh. back to Eden Gardening. Yeah. So I mean, when I look at that, I see I see how hard working you guys are. Um, is it different for you now? Well, the first year was real different. <laughs> it was so, hard to stop. It takes a while to get used to not getting up every day and having things you have to do and a schedule that you have to keep. Yeah. And so I think it took more than a year for us to just get up in the morning go sit outside and have coffee and just sit there and do nothing. It's, it's a definite shift. But we have mm -hmm. adapted. We have. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now, before I forget, Badge said something about rattlesnakes. Oh yeah. <laughs> our little town. Yeah. Our little yeah, town. Like, we're from, uh, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> the town where we grew up. Uh, for 35 years, the little town we grew up in, Apache, Oklahoma, they have a rattlesnake festival every year, oh. and they catch rattlesnakes. And Jim went on the first one and caught a rattlesnake. Yeah. I went out on the hunt, caught a rattlesnake, and brought it back in. But my, uh, some of my family, my sisters and their family are still there in that area. So one of the benefits of this lifestyle is that when we want to see family and friends that we've neglected, we can go see them. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. And spend some time in our own home. We stay, there's a lake near where they live and we stay on that lake for, it's about 10 minutes from them and it's a uh, city park and I think it's 10 or $11 a night. So we stay there a couple of weeks uh, when we go see our family. So that's fun. Nice. So tell us about your bus. Oh, our bus That's is cool. wonderful. It's a, it's a <laughs> 2000. Yeah, it's a 2000. It has an 8.3 diesel engine. It has a new a new fan on it because Badge put it on there. Yep. I did that. I did that. <laughs> uh, we, we, have, we did have a couple problems with the fuel filter, and we have a great place to take our bus for all that kind of stuff. It's called Triple A, Triple A bus sales, bus sales in, in Phoenix, Phoenix yeah. uh, Arizona. Okay, you can fix it. Uh, Tony, I, I spent Tony lots of money trying to find a problem. Uh, probably we spent five or six thousand yeah. dollars trying to find a wiring problem. Uh, that's what we paid mechanics who swore to me they could fix it. 
We took it to Tony, and he and Joe found it in about three uh, hours. Uh, had it completely fixed in three hours. You know, I and recently we watched it. that video. It just, you know, you guys had <laughs> constant problems with it, but you found yeah. the blessing in every aspect of it. I think that's one of the things I appreciated the most about you sharing that. Yeah. We were told a long time ago, uh, we were doing a lot of public speaking and stuff and, and somebody gave us the advice that you never share a problem until you have the solution the or the victory. victory on it. And <laughs> then you can share it in retrospect and say, this is what happened and you know, so the hardest part for us was when we were going through the being stuck in the mud in Ooh. Flagstaff, <laughs> trying Ooh. to keep a really positive yeah. attitude Let's about, talk about the mud. Yeah. Okay, wait, how long is your bus? How long is your bus? It's forty feet. And you got it stuck. It's how do you get it out? That's well, a story. Uh, it was a long story. There is a video. It shows some it's of it. Story. <laughs> How do you get it out? What number oh video? <laughs> you got to watch the video crazy. because what is it? The bus is forty feet long and they got thirty nine and a half that's stuck in the mud. So yeah, it was pretty. It's yeah. a good yeah. video. Very good video. <laughs> and it's an activity. It was an activity bus, so it has the bays underneath, and yeah. the mud was up. About a, two inches about on the base. About two inches on the base is how far we, down we were. And the real problem was that the there was a cattle guard in front of us. The big hooks Our on bus the front. has big yeah. hooks on yeah. the front oh. that hang down. Uh huh. And the hooks got between the deals on the cattle guard. Oh. So, yeah. So it wasn't just a matter of getting yeah. traction and pulling it out. It had to be lifted up. And uh, oh my. it was a miracle. There is a golden lining in this so whole story. The golden lining is yeah. it was an awesome campground. It was an <laughs> awesome campground. <laughs> oh my goodness. The night we got stuck, we got a four inch snow, which yeah. was beautiful. <laughs> Added yeah. to the problem significantly, though. And that was during the time when we were having trouble with the fuel pump. So we it would just run a little it, while and stop. Yeah, the bus would. <laughs> so you couldn't get up any speed if you did get some traction. You couldn't get up any speed. So we actually got when we got out of there, we got stuck a second time, and then when we got stuck the third time, we were how far from the pavement? Oh, about maybe seventy-five yards from the but pavement. But the when we hit this big puddle, the bus just went. Mm, the fuel filter. You know. yeah. So. It was we, fuel pump that was Yeah, fuel bad. pump. Okay, so we pulled, we called the tow truck at that point. Because I said, Debbie, I can't do can't it. Can't do it one more Not time. One more time. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah. Oh, my I God. God. We made them up those hills. Up What'd those hills. What'd you say? Um, do you find That's it difficult to drive a vehicle that big? Uh, not at all. No? No. But no, there's little bitty women that drive school buses every day. Oh, I guess. I don't know. When I started driving my ambulance, it scared the, the jeepers out of me when I first started because I wasn't <laughs> used to it. Yeah, you know, I, I have never driven the bus. I don't intend to. And everybody says I should learn in case of emergency. And I said, I think if there was an emergency, I'd figure out some way to drive it a little ways if I needed to. But We've got you know, a car. I just don't want to. Yeah, we have a car. Oh, oh, oh you tow it? We tow our car. Yes. No. Yeah. We love it. I I found something. I found oh. something that everybody's looking for. <laughs> okay. And this is this is true. So I we've just been looking for thought this. You might like to see it. Okay, I'm gonna make you uh, bigger. Hang on. Let's see. Whoops, not me. Hang on one second. I I have my own Bigfoot. <laughs> oh, look at that. It was cool. Got his own Bigfoot. <laughs> we found it. That's cool. You didn't know I was going to find a Bigfoot. No. We we do. Do. 
you know, with the troubles that you have had with the bus, do you ever think if you had another unit to build out that you would pick something different? Oh, no. I'd get the same no. thing. Really? I would build a slide out on it, though, I think. No. Yeah. Like, their buses, their buses, like, it, it looks like a bus on the outside, but when you get when you walk through that door, it's just like walking into grandma's cabin. It is unbelievable. Like unbelievable. You well, need to take you. that you need to take that computer, Jim, and turn that thing. Because it's, it's Oh just wow, it's too messy. <laughs> you mean you're what in you the saying? bus right you now? See? That nice couch yeah. is in your bus? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And look at that. There's Isn't that kitchen. gorgeous? Mm-hmm. Very nice. It doesn't even look That's like a bus. No. Here's here's our little here's our fireplace. Yeah, a little fireplace on the wall. It's the, really is that the nice. cup? Oh my Does god. Does it what? Is it a, 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 a the... little cub? Did you get that out of Canada? The yeah, uh, it's the grizzly. Yes, it is from Canada, is from Canada but it's called yeah. the grizzly. It's a little yeah. bigger than the cub. I think they make something yeah. about. Yeah. yeah, and so we have a bathroom here, and and we have flowers. Aww. <laughs> oh, look at the flowers! <laughs> we have we have a little tree in our house <laughs> because we've been yeah. staying. In front of our daughter's house, and she's been we running. Have a little, a succulent. Little succulent. <laughs> I she, love this live tour. This is awesome. <laughs> she's been she's been running her mother and father in law's nursery. They've been in business for thirty years, so we got a lot of plants to keep, and we're hopefully hope, hoping we can keep them alive. Oh, you, we can. <laughs> We have Jim Bertrand in the chat, and I know he's there for a lot oh, of your, I love music. Jim. your music. Hi, on, Jim and Lee. Yeah, you 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 do a an hour every Sunday, correct? Where you sing? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, wait, how are you playing your music? How are we playing music? Like, how do you play oh. your music? Oh well, there's not very much room in here, but we just set up and. We set up, Debbie the set up the keyboard in here. Wow. Yeah. Set up the keyboard right here in front of the bench. And we sit on the bench over there and play it. And um, it does surprisingly, comes across surprisingly well with our phone. If we have signal. It does. If we have signal. Yeah. yeah and uh, Jim cool. Bertrand and his mother, Lee, watch us every week. They're wonderful. And there are some mm -hmm. wonderful people that comment and just precious people. And I believe Jim is Canadian as well. Yes. We don't, we don't hold that against him. Oh. <laughs> For no. shame on you. <laughs> I reckon, when I went down there, I got all that myth cleared up. They cleared all that myth up. They said we won't I don't hold know. against okay. Canadian. Okay. Okay. I think can I go back. I need to go down yeah. and clarify what real Canadians are yeah. like because we're not quite as yeah. outspoken <laughs> as Badge. Yeah. 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 And I yeah. want to thank Tom's wild and wonderful views for that super chat. Thank you so much for that. Greatly appreciate it. That's why it. I had to take the marshmallows down because I had to bribe them, you know, to it like hurts. me. You know, like putting a pork <laughs> chop around your dog's around your neck your dog will play with you you know the same thing i put a bag of marshmallows around everybody down there plays with me <laughs> i go back to canada <laughs> no that's because badge badge helps anybody that needs any help anytime he's just amazing yeah and all he asked in return from us was just a chicken dinner we had a chicken, chicken thing. marsala a chicken thing chicken marsala yeah <laughs> <laughs> because you can just fix me some of that chicken what stuff, chicken so. thing i don't know that chicken thing you made it was really good i'll take yeah, that that's, what he said. Yeah, yeah. that's mushrooms yeah. and cheese and right and marsala wine yeah. and stuff in it it's quite mm. quite nice i don't know if you know yeah. but she can cook yeah, really Paula, good i fix it for you too i like you to would? cook for people that's one of the fun things 
Right. Well, what would you like me to bring from Canada? Oh. Well, like, you I can double up on the stuff maybe. you want between Badge and I. <laughs> Maple syrup. I don't know. No. Ketchup chips. Ketchup chips, yeah. I'll, Do you guys you have Smarties and Arrow bars? No. There are a lot of Arrow bars you don't have. For ketchup chips, I've never heard of that. Oh, are they good? That's exactly what that was the right answer. That was it's the not my right personal answer. Favorite. It's not my personal favorite. No. Oh, hickory sticks. You guys don't have hickory sticks. Hickory either, sticks. Do you? That's it. Hickory sticks. That's, I'm that's this what down. you get a spanking with. Hickory <laughs> stick? <laughs> they look like little match sticks, but they have so much flavor. They are so good. And thank you so much, Fan Life Rocks, for dropping the link for Life is a Joy. That's greatly appreciated. I've yeah, you, anyone in the that, chat, that, put something you know from Canada that's a food that you would like brought. <laughs> yeah, I wish I knew foods from Canada. I've been there only once, and that was we in Toronto. We flew into Toronto. Toronto. Yeah, we spoke uh, many years ago in the early 80s. We spoke at a uh, convention. We ate breakfast. In and that we ate breakfast tower, in the CN, CN tower. tower. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Oh, Very yeah. nice. That's the only time I've been to Canada. So what kind of speaking do you guys do? None anymore. De <laughs> no, Debbie talks all the time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, too funny, Jim. Oh, my yeah, goodness. That's kind of true. <laughs> but I didn't know he was listening. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we used to do kids' camps, children's camps. For kids from eight to eighteen, boys and girls. Yeah. And it was very successful. It was all about just uh, developing successful thinking, how to build your own business, that type of stuff. Yeah. And then really? we, we we started in the Amway business. I don't know if you know Amway, but we started in that in nineteen seventy eight. Yeah. And That's we like worked hard I mean, probably about ten years. And um, then now we still we still make a small income from that, but we don't do any speaking. We don't do any recruiting. We do mm -hmm. uh, have some customers and stuff, but that's all. So but we still but make some money from it's it. It's a lovely business. Oh, my. We just have our best friends in the world have come through the people we met through that business. And the second best are all the people that we've met since we've been traveling. Well, everybody we just haven't known them as long. Everybody loves us because you know I'm God's favorite. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> <I'm not laughs> <nothing. laughs> you knew that badge, right? Um, oh my goodness, I can see why he and Badge get along. <laughs> oh, so yes, yes ma'am. So, how did where did the title for your channel Life is a Joy come out of? Uh, because uh, we think joy is a decision, and we think if you decide to, you can be happy if you have a mind to. Roger Miller Roger wrote Miller. that. <laughs> <laughs> you can't roller skate in a buffalo herd. You can't roller skate in the but buffalo But you can herd. be happy if you have You can mind be to. happy if you have a mind to. Yeah. That's right, babe. And that's our goal, to be happy. Mm -hmm. I know that's the same with Badge. That's the same with Nomadic Ramblers. All these people we meet out here, they're such yeah. wonderful people. And what a, what a joy this lifestyle is. And we're not encouraging anybody out there to, to follow mm -hmm. this lifestyle because we'd like them to stay home. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Because that cuts into the marshmallows. The more people you have, the less marshmallows you get. Or stick biscuits. Right. Like you don't, be, right. you don't be sharing stick yeah, biscuits with anybody. Them. We only have so many sticks for stick biscuits. Exactly. <laughs> no sharing <laughs> stick biscuits. So tell folks to stay home and uh, watch TV. No, leave no, yeah. watch leave TV. all that camping for us. <laughs> it's not. It's it's not cheap and it's not easy. So stay home. So. That's right. Let's, <laughs> let's pretend. Let's pretend that nobody's watching and it's just you and me. What are some of the best parts? Because we don't want them to do this too. But what are the best parts of the nomadic lifestyle? 
Sitting around uh, the campfire. Yeah, yeah, sitting around the campfire. That's, that's right. Sitting that's around it, the campfire. Man. Yeah. And you know, uh, you, so many people live in the same house for 30 years and they don't even know their neighbors. And people won't mm-hmm. won't get together. For six years, we tried to get our neighbors to come and have supper with us and no one was ever interested. So, you know, we come out on this lifestyle and we have <laughs> lots of friends. They were busy. Yeah, they were all in busy. their defense. Everybody's working. You only asked me once. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> you asked You're me once. I was there. Well, we need I to know, go to that one. What we, what we love the most, and a lot of people have like visiting places and seeing different places, and we do love that. However, that's not our favorite part by any no. stretch of the imagination. It is our favorite part of the people. Yeah. I think it's the people. I love to bake cookies for the little kids when we're by some kids. Oh, they're and the so kids good. come over and I give them some snacker noodles. <sighs> and they're so happy. You know, oh, and it's so just good. Oh, I love snicker doodles. Snickerdoodles, snicker doodles, oh. that's the best. Mm-hmm. Her, her, and, her and hot cookies coffee. are awesome. Her cookies <laughs> are awesome. Like really I just good. like to, I just like to make people happy. That's one Let's, way. The sing a song. For if you, you, if you have one of her cookies, you'll, you'll know why. They're really are you good. You just sing for us. Oh, no. <laughs> oh they're, wish they're I was really sing a song for you. You could serenade okay, Badge and I. This is a very silly song. Oh, I'm very silly. Yeah. Have you ever heard the story of Belinda Overview? She was courted by the devil and she didn't know what to do. Well, she came courting every evening with a hold of a good show, digging up a dope from a doodle and a daddle and a fast smoke, hipping and a hopping and skipping and jumping, picking up a doodle in the middle of the day. <laughs> we can't sing all the verses, but yeah. Silliness is what he's really best at. I am. Yeah. <laughs> when we did children's camps, we learned a lot of you know, silly songs, kids. I'm mm-hmm. going to tell people because it's really funny. But if you want to, I'm not even going to show you. But if you want to have a laugh, because you see Jim right now, is go on to Facebook <laughs> and Google <laughs> Jim. Jim Gadby, and wa- look at the picture. It'll yeah, every time I look at it, I just laugh for hours, laugh for hours <laughs> on him because it doesn't have nothing to do with him at all. But it is him, I guess. <laughs> Debbie said it is. I don't agree, but she said it is. But it is hilarious. But anyway, yeah. it's him. Well, Jim look was um, fabulous singing. Got a super chat. Thank you so much, Tracy. We had a, um, we went to church with a man named Carmen, C-A-R-M-A-N, who Mm -hmm. was, uh, in the 1980s, was a huge Christian singer. That's right. I mean, it was. He weighed 780 pounds. No, he wasn't huge. (laughs) He filled the Dallas Cowboys Stadium. So, I mean, he had huge concerts, but we went to church with him. And so Jim did, Jim played the bass on one of his, uh, the upright Upright bass bass. Uh on one of his music videos, yeah, which is on the internet. So we tell people, you can go look it up. It's 1954 and you'll see Jim playing the bass. And people are like, that's not Jim playing the bass. (laughs) (laughs) Yes, it is. So I know what Badge is talking about. He's no facial hair short. Yeah. It's quite funny. But I'm always good looking. Oh, always. of course. Yeah. Deb I wouldn't okay. be with you otherwise. How did you guys meet? Well, when I was, uh, we met when we were 14. My dad preached a camp meeting and her father uh, led the singing at the camp meeting. And uh, I didn't like her very much when I first met her, but boy, it didn't take long for that to change. And uh, I asked her to, I asked her to marry me when I was fourteen, Aww. and uh, we got married uh, eight days after I turned eighteen. Yep. And we've been married for fifty years, fifty-one years 
in next July. Next week. 51 next week, years. It'll be 51 years. Yesterday was Jim's 69th birthday. Hey! Well, happy birthday! So, and happy early no, anniversary. Happy birthday. On the 16th, we'll be married 51 years. Wow. wow. We're blessed. Wow. We yeah. are indeed blessed. So, you well, know, that's wrong. That's wrong, you Jim. You're not blessed. We are blessed to know you. That's the uh, we are <laughs> blessed to know you. That's the way it it's works. It's funny because we were we were talking today to our kids over here, and we said some of the greatest things in our lives is the fact that we have had so many wonderful relationships and so many beautiful people come into our lives. And that's okay. true, and that's the truth. And you're one of yeah, them. And and Paul you know, the funny part about it is, is when we leave Canada to go to the States in, in October, there we have a, a list of ones that, and like the Ramblers and, and Jim and Deb, they're right on the list. We have to, we have to go see them. Like you just can't have to phone, them. phone them up and it's just not the same thing. You have to physically see them and squeeze the daylights out of them. And it's just so much fun. Sit around the fire, eat stick biscuits or marshmallows, and yeah, yep. that's just it's life, just life. Wonderful. It's wonderful. Well, I have a question for Jim and Deb because you know, hearing that you've been together for fifty years, and you, I mean, you don't hear of that very often anymore, and the fact that you guys have started the nomadic lifestyle for several years. I'm sure you guys must have some excellent advice for couples that are, are trying to do this. Stay home. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Leave uh, more campsites for us. <laughs> <laughs> we read a great book many years ago that said, uh, try to outgive the other person in your relationship. Try to do more for that person than they do for you. And um, I just think selfishness and is such a, uh, I don't know, there's so much of it in the world today that people mm -hmm. are thinking about what's best for them. And if you try yeah. to put your mate, you know, what's good for Jim? What would, what would make idea. him That's happy? Yeah. He likes that. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. oh. that's true oh. that's true and, wow you know, just kindness kindness my yeah. daughter on their channel she made a t-shirt that i thought was great because she said i don't know what we started thinking about what bob ross and mr rogers had in common and why they were legends and, it, and she said i i believe it's their kindness so they made T-shirts that says "Kindness is legendary," and oh, that has a lot to do with the back door. Oh, I'll go shut it. You're just trying to get rid of me. So Jim is while she's gone. Okay. While she's gone, I'll tell you that the reason we have a great marriage is because my wife is perfect, <laughs> oh. and that's that's the truth. She's See there? She is awesome. <laughs> she's my buddy. See there? That's the way you do it. Yeah. Oh, you guys are just oh, oh my beyond words. Too sappy. Too sappy. No, sorry. no, <laughs> it is so cool. You have no idea how inspirational it is just to see a couple like each other anymore. <laughs> my parents were married mm. over 60 years before they passed away. Jim's parents had their 75th. Last year celebrated their 75th. Wow. And they're 90. And they're still alive, yeah. 92. And they got COVID and got over it, and they're doing great. Um, what? They got over it? Oh, yeah. Okay, I thought you said they died over it. And all of a sudden, I'm like, oh, oh no. no. What am I they saying? Got over it. No, no, no. <laughs> they were, in fact, his dad had very few symptoms. His mom just, got pneumonia. They just had it like two weeks, and they, had, they were done with it. And they're oh. doing great. Okay, good. <laughs> Woo! It's very. It's not very often I'm speechless. Um, Jim Bertram <laughs> is asking me to ask you guys to share with how share with us how you came about 
making the decision to sell everything and to build a schoolie. And that was a, it, it actually, it wasn't that hard. Debbie came home one day and all day long while I was working, I was thinking, I think we need to downsize. I've got all these projects going. And Debbie came home. She was working at an optometrist. And she, when she got home, she said, Jim, I think we need to downsize. And I said, isn't that interesting? I've been thinking about that today. And I've never been one to downsize. I always wanted bigger, better, more. Yeah. So we just felt like it was the right thing to do. And as a result, we got to meet uh, Paula and and we got to meet uh, Badge well, and Nomadic Ramblers and Wes, Chris and Bacalis. Right. Many, many, many more. Well, I was going to say L. Oh, and Badge. L, not Badge. <laughs> yeah. Well, and I'm sure so you met to Shirley me. too, following the yellow brick road. Hello, Shirley. Oh, yeah, yes. Shirley, of course. Sher Shirley's great. Shirley must be back in Idaho now. She yep. went she's to just some time back with her today. Family. And yeah. she is uh, inside, outside, Shirley. She's a great gal. She is. Yeah. Just, just has yeah. so much courage and strength, and we love her. Aww. Would you like to hear my favorite poem? Yes. Okay. It goes like this. The name of the poem is Plod On. Do you understand that? Keep walking on, plod, plod on. on. Right. Yeah. Plod on. Okay. And it goes like this. Plod on. Plod on. Plod on. Plod on. Plod on. On, plot on, plot on, <laughs> plot on, plot on. That's the end. He had to recite that to himself a lot when he was converting the bus. <laughs> <laughs> you can relate, can't you, if you're converting the ambulance? Yeah. Yeah, and you know, I'm finding now that I'm spending more time in it, I'm changing so much. Did you guys come across that? Did you make changes once you're in it? Yeah. Once we're in it? Um, yeah. Yeah, we've made several changes. Yeah, but always... Nothing major. The main thing is the couch because we tried. Couldn't find anything comfortable. No, we tried one from Ikea. And we ended up giving it to Chris, and he uses it in his bus. And then we, Jim built a slap pull-out, and we thought, well, that will be great. We, but when we sit in it, just fall, you'd just slide down. So yeah. we ended up just getting these recliner chairs, and we put them in here, and, and we like that them. works better. <laughs> we like them a lot. We yeah, sure we do. do. <laughs> it's good for nap time, too. We thought when yeah. we originally started building the bus, now, our oldest granddaughter is 21. Our youngest grandchild is 11. Uh huh. And we thought they'll be spending lots of time with us in the bus, so we need to have lots of sleeping areas. Mm -hmm. And turns out, when the kids are that age, they have a lot of other things going on. So When they were younger, they liked to be with did. us a they lot. They did. They spent a lot of time <laughs> with us, but now not so much. So we took... Uh, we decided it wasn't necessary to have a pull-out couch and have mm -hmm. extra sleeping. Yeah. So, yeah. But so, we yeah, that, changes. That's why everybody moves into motorhomes and buses because they want all everybody to come and visit them. But, Jim, you have to tell them where you are for them to come. <laughs> to visit. You have to tell them where you are. That's right. Just we keep that a secret. <laughs> <laughs> we're right oh. here <laughs> you're right there yeah well yeah, right here we're right here well, can't right over wait there. to see you badge yeah so Paula <laughs> what else do you want to know what else I, do I you want to tell me what? what else do you want to tell me what should oh, I know I, I, I got a story useless information Oh, I love useless information. <laughs> I have your story. Okay. okay I'm going to tell you a story. Now, Paul, about five minutes ago, you were talking about them downsizing and changing stuff. 
So now Jim was a contractor that built houses when he was in his other life. Now he's just yeah. a campfire hoax. Now, yeah, he when he, he was working, he had this great big generator. This thing's like I think it was 11k or something, wasn't it, Jim? It was huge, <laughs> it, but he never ever used it. Right. So, so we we're talking one day, and I said, "Why don't you just get rid of that boat anchor and go to Harbor Freight and get a little one? You don't need a big one." And now their bus is solar from bumper to bumper, right? So they don't really need yeah. the big generator. So he give it away, and he's got this little generator. And this thing just works is just works great, and they love it now. So yeah, you're always downsizing, always. You're always downsizing, right. always. But yeah, that's my. Yeah, uh, well, I you, used to, I you that set up funny. your own solar system. Like, what are some of the systems that you have put in the bus? Well, we have three thousand watts of solar on the roof, almost a little bit less than three thousand. We have two three thousand watt. Um, inverters. inverters that came mm -hmm. from Taiwan. We have uh, twelve batteries that are hanging from the from the uh, uh, frame of the bus. There's twelve batteries, and they're 130 amp hours each, and they're yeah. uh, AGM. AGMs. Yeah. Uh, we have a hot water heater, an instant hot water heater that was made for a, a four bed, five bedroom house. Yeah. We have a hydroponic. Uh, what no. do you call it? Radiant floor. Radiant floor. Yeah. In, so it can here. have a warm floor. And we have um, also we have a mini split, which we use. Oh, for I love it. The mini yeah. split. Oh, it's the best yeah. air conditioner. It's quiet. No noise. I love it. The best thing is my kitchen. I have a full size refrigerator, a full size uh so, stove with oven and full a full size, size double, double sink. sink. So, so is the stove I, oven electric or propane? It's propane. propane. And I have cooked a full Thanksgiving meal in here. But everything no in our house is 110. So, uh, you know, it's just like a house. Like you just have plug-ins like you do in a house. So you didn't bother with a 12 volt system at all? No. No, nope. if we want 12 volt, we get an adapter and plug it into our 110. <laughs> it's not the most efficient way, but that's what we did. <laughs> well, I mean, you yeah. guys have, have, have enough trough. storage. Yeah, and we have a horse trough in our bathroom for the okay. uh, bathtub so that when we are hooked up to water or when we're in quartzite, for instance, if we want to take a, a bath, we'll, we have a, a water bladder which you probably know about it's one of our upgrades it's a little it folds it's up a, and fits in a little a little bitty we put it in ice chest so that, that holds it yeah it. yeah yeah but then it fits right in the back of our car and holds 60 gallons so then we'll yeah. we don't have to move the bus to go get water oh, we just nice. go get 60 gallons of water bring it back pump it into the bus and we can take a bath back there occasionally when you know, when you're our age, you need a soap bath. Mm. <laughs> so <-called> my age. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice, yeah. And, and we have composting toilet. Yes. And it works so really cool. great. What kind of composting toilet? Did you it's build it so yourself? Cool. Yes, you built it. And he'll have to tell you about it. Go ahead, tell her. I took an old ice dispenser out of an old ice box. And I built the little metal propeller thing, the motors underneath the bus, and the little mm -hmm. forks come through. And it's so easy to cover it up, turn it over. It's so easy to, to change it out. It's just so easy. And mm -hmm. what it does, it just turns, and the solids just sink. But the good thing is then we don't have black water. Yeah. And most yeah. of the you, you, uh, you can put gray water on the ground like your shower. Mm -hmm. uh, you can put that on the ground. Well, if you got black water, you can't do that. You know, you have to go to the dump station. So yeah, and really it's like a lot more system. inconvenient when you have to deal with the black water, whereas you guys can bag yeah. that and throw it in the garbage or put it in the ground or, right. yeah. Right. Yeah, That's and correct. we have it in this, and he built it so that it has a, it has a fan in there that runs 24-7 to and the and vents out the top and then it also has a switch 
so that when you, the nice way you put it, it's deposit solids in the toilet. You just flip the you switch. You flip the switch and it turns and it doesn't until pour you. it's totally You're not cranking it. Yeah. 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 But do you so, still oh, add cool. something to it? Like we do you use, add um, We use hor horse pellets, like uh, go in a horse, horse's uh, stall, and we uh, hydrate them. And they turn into sawdust. Put them in there. It's real simple. Well, you don't have to add to any more during the no. process. You just it just stirs because it up. Stirring. But I just change it. it. I change it out once a week. I probably don't need to, but I change it out once a week. Wow! And it works slick. It works slick. Yeah. Well, it's great. I I made yeah. myself a composting toilet, but I didn't put it in the ambulance yet because I have a little Camco chemical one, but. I'm really not liking that chemical one. It doesn't matter how much no. chemical you use. It's just not no. pleasant. Yeah. And that one they got go. doesn't smell at all. You, you can't even smell no. it. Even in the bathroom. There's no odor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank yeah. you. Uh, that was my biggest concern was, is it going to smell like an outhouse in here? But yeah. we do not smell it. Can hear. You can't smell mm -hmm. it at all. That's awesome. So... um. Well, we want to know why do they call you Dr. Jim? Dr. J. Dr. J. Well, uh, when I was, the last project I bit, I had, I built three houses and a $5 million tennis facility in Texas. And uh, we poured 480 yards on one pour on that tennis facility. And it was a big project. Mm -hmm. The man he's working for. But the man I was working for was in his 80s. When I first, 85, I think. When yeah. I first went to work for him, I did something he thought was amazing. And he said, you should have a doctorate degree in construction. <laughs> and I said, well, I said, well, thank you. So he went around and told, I had 19 guys working for me. He went around and told everybody, you call him Dr. J from now on. And if you call, don't call him Dr. J, you get fired. Yeah. <laughs> and, and so the city where we lived, when we would go to the city council meetings or when Jim would talk to the inspectors, Everybody knew they all called him Dr. Dr. J. J. In fact, the funniest thing is the Sherwin-Williams there in that town. We had one color that we painted the interior of most of the rental houses and stuff that uh, Dwight bought. And they called that white color that we ch that Jim chose Dr. J. White. So we'd go into the Sherwood Williams and say, we need 10 gallons of Dr. J. White. <laughs> <laughs> That's better than having a sandwich named after you. That, I guess so. <laughs> <That'd be funny>. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. I'm so glad that you guys were willing to come back again. I, I appreciate you so much. I'm so thankful that you're here. Hey, no problem. Well, it'll be a big treat when you have Bobby and Sharon back on. They're precious people. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, you know, that's one thing um, through Badge. Oh, yeah. I'm meeting a lot of really amazing people, and it just – excites me to my very core to get out and hit the road and meet everyone. Yeah. Well, if you if you come on this down, is the kind we'll of people you you're dealing with. Pardon? Yeah. No, I, I missed said, that. If you if you come on down, we'll let you use our toilet. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have my own bucket. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, but it's not like theirs though. Well, <laughs> well, <laughs> we'll see what I can do just yet. Okay, yeah. so let me yeah. tell you about the joy. We believe that life should be a joy for everyone. We know mm -hmm. that it's not. We know people have struggles. But, you know, we have, we have been in uh, believers for all, most all of our lives. Um, and we believe that Jesus is, is uh, the way... And the only way, and he is the truth and the life. So that's what that's what our faith is. And so as a result, we think that you should have joy. In fact, there's a place in the Bible where it talks about the fruits of the spirit and their love, joy, peace, kindness, 
long suffering, gentleness, meekness, all these things, faithfulness, there's nine of them, and joy is one of them. So we think you should be joyful. Now, sometimes when you're in pain, it's when, not as easy, is it? It's not as easy. <laughs> Or when things happen and you're in a ditch trying to dig out or whatever, <laughs> it's not always easy. Mm -hmm. But we believe that uh, you should be joyful. So now yeah. you know everything about us. Oh, you guys are amazing. So amazing. <laughs> Except, you, do you know we're from Oklahoma? <laughs> Is that going to make a difference? <laughs> We, you know, we have got a rattlesnake there. <laughs> yeah. And, and our song is Oklahoma, when the wind comes sweeping down the plain, <laughs> yes. where the wave yes, is. Yeah, that's our song. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and we were there with Badge. We were there with Badge one of the hardest times in his life, I think. Just happened to be there. Oh, that was tough. And that was tough, dog, baby. I he lost it. his dog. That was yeah. tough. Yeah. Yeah. And that was tough. I just lucky know, they were there. It was though. a hard time. Yeah. yeah. We we love you guys, and you too, Paula. We love you. Yeah. We do anything you. for your badge. <laughs> we'll well, do anything for them. They'll do anything for us, so we go around doing nothing for each other. Something. That's what it says. Something like no, that. it's there's nothing I wouldn't do for you. Oh, nothing I wouldn't do for you. Yeah. And nothing he wouldn't yeah. do for us, so we go so around doing, doing nothing, nothing for, for each, each other. other. That's it. That's it. Oh, awesome. sorry, we're. Thank you guys so much. Thank you, Badge. Thank, Thank you. you, everybody in the chat. We are going to raid Van Life with Gina, and my moderators have been dropping the links. It's also pinned to the top of the chat in blue. It should take you right to the live stream, and I will meet you guys over there. Um, yeah, and I will see you Saturday. Thank you, Thank you guys so much. You bye are bye. amazing, amazing people. Love I you. haven't outro all right here we go good night everyone good night, good night.